I'm going to speak to you in regard to the subject of uh, directions for discipleship. And uh, in this, and in this uh, matter, I'd like to tonight bring uh, a message entitled the, the Importance of the Word of God in Being a Disciple for the Lord. There's no way that we can be good disciples without the Word of God. The Word of God is so important. So I've entitled the message, The Wonder of the Word. And my title in my text is John 8, John the 8th chapter, verse 31 and 32. Jesus said, If you continue in my Word, you shall be my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So praise God. We want to thank God tonight for this word that Jesus said. And I'd like to lead us in just a word of prayer. Asking God to bless this message. Amen. Father God, we praise you tonight. We thank you, Lord, that these people are here to hear the word of God. And we believe that it's going out over the computer to those out there around the land that are in need of the word of God. And we pray that you will. Bring this word to their hearts in the way that only you can do it. Because you said, Lord, you will use your word and it will not return for it. But it will accomplish what you purpose it to do. And I pray tonight, oh God, that you will speak through me. And that I, like Paul the Apostle, will not seek to speak with enticing words and men's wisdom. But to preach the word in demonstration of the spirit and of power. That our faith shall not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Lord, we need your power. We can't do it alone. We need your power to change lives. We can't change anybody. We need your power to save souls. We can't save anybody. We need your power to help us and lift us out of darkness and bring us to the light. We need your power, dear God, to give us grace, grace that's greater than our sins, to lift us and love us and lead us and use us for your glory. Lord, help us to know tonight that you love us. And we praise God that we shall follow you and learn from your word tonight how to live by the word of God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you continue my word, you shall be my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Number one, the word of God is so important. I'm, I just feel that we do not recognize and realize how important this word is. Barnabas told that he takes and said that many talking to hundreds of Christians and if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was a dismal number that read their Bibles on a regular basis. We ought to read our Bibles. You know how often you ought to read your Bible? How often do you eat food? That's how often you ought to read this Word. Jesus said that man shall not live by bread only, but by every word of God. You ought to read the Bible at least every day in the week. You ought not let a day go by without reading because you see this is food for your soul and your spirit. Now the devil knows that and he'll bring every temptation to keep you from this book. So you need to set aside a time and turn to the pages of God's Word. And when you read the Bible, don't try to read whole chapters. Just read a few verses and stop and mark it with a pencil and then and you'd go back later and take up the next few verses. Just read a few verses and then think about them and ask God to help you understand those few verses. Spend most of your time in the New Testament. It's a fulfillment of the Old Testament. The Old Testament is rich, but the New Testament is a millionaire. The Old Testament is a highway that has gold nuggets along that you get. But the New Testament is a highway of solid gold. It's where we live today. It's where God speaks to you tonight. It's in the Word of God. And many, many, many times in the New Testament. 
So read a few verses in the, in the uh, one of the epistles, for instance, I, I mean, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Gospels. I'm, I'm reading, for instance, the book of John. And I've got into the 14th chapter of the book of John, just reading the three or four verses a day. And then when I read that, I mark it and I turn over to one of the epistles of Paul. And I've read it in the book of Colossians. And I've read through Colossians and now I've gone into the next chapter in the book of uh, First Timothy. And I'm reading that now at just a few verses at a time. And then I go over. I'm sorry, before I got to Timothy, I read the uh, book of Romans. Those three books are tremendous. And just spending a few time. But you need to read the Bible every day. Read the Bible every day. And you'll learn from it. And you'll grow in grace. And God will help you. And God will strengthen you. And you will learn how to be a disciple. If you continue in my word, then you will be my disciple indeed. And you'll know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Number one, we would know nothing about God if it was not for this book. We would know nothing about Jesus Christ if it was not for this book. We didn't know nothing why we were here and how we got here except for this book. We would know nothing about why we're here and what we're supposed to do except for this book. We would know nothing what's going to happen to us when we leave. All we know is that all people are dying, but we wouldn't know any more except for this book. And so we see this book is the answer to life. So we'll set it on the shelf and look at it about once a week. Read it every day, like you eat food every day. And let God bless it to your heart. The Word of God is next to God Himself. I'm speaking to you, and you're hearing my words. But when you leave, you're not going to say, I heard uh, the words of Brother Humphreys. You're not going to say that. You're going to say, I heard Brother Humphreys. See, my words and me are the same. When you hear my words, you're hearing Brother Humphreys. And when you hear the Word of God, you're hearing God. And they're all practically the same. The more you get of the Word of God, the more you get of God. The more you feel the Word of God, the more you feel with God. And so we need to read the Word now. Briefly as possible, just two or three quick, quick uh, summations here. Number one is the Word of God is necessary. It's necessary. It's not optional. Now, your heart is necessary for you to live. And your lungs are necessary for you to live and breathe. And your head is necessary for you to live. Now the Bible is the same way. It's necessary for you to become a disciple of the Lord. It's necessary for you to become a Christian. And then it's necessary for you to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord. Number one, it's necessary for salvation. We cannot be saved apart from the Word of God. The Word says, the Word is now you, this is Romans 10th chapter. The Word is now you, it's in your mouth and it's in your heart. <coughs> the Word that we preach, that is, if you will, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God raised Him up from the dead for you. You shall be saved. But with the heart, mouth, mouth, confession is made into salvation. And with the heart, with the heart, we believe unto salvation, unto righteousness. And so the Word of God teaches us 